In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use velocity to control the gain of a filter. Uh, so this is a kind of beginner tutorial, but you can follow along if you know this stuff anyway. All right, I've added a sine wave generator and in the effect section, I'm going to add a filter. Let's hear our sine wave generator. Exciting, okay. So we can set the frequency of our filter with the knob labeled frequency. And we can control this using modulation. And we can also control the gain using modulation, but the gain for this filter is disabled. So we've got to change the filter type to one that actually uses gain. Not that one, not that one. Let's find one that does. Uh, I think the peak will. There we go, the peak EQ. Okay, so now if I move the filter, nothing changes because we haven't applied any gain. So we can apply a positive gain or a negative gain. And we can see that there. And we get the Q value as well, which determines the width of the uh, frequency band. Okay, so let's have something like that. Now, let's say we want to simulate dynamics. Uh, so when the user plays the key softly, we want to pull down the frequency. And when they play at a higher velocity, we want to maybe just tweak it up just a little bit, maybe three decibels at the highest. So let me show you how we do that. So we go to gain modulation. We click the plus, go to voice start and select velocity. So now if I play, we'll see that we're not really getting the result we want. Play softly, play it loudly. We don't really have that much control over it. So we're going to open the table here and now we can actually see what's being triggered. So if I play softly, we can see down here. So we're getting minus three down there. And if I play at a higher velocity, it's up here and that's going to be 0.9 dB. So that's not what we want. We want the top up here to be plus three, let's say, let's change it up to three. So plus three. And we want the negative down here to be, oh, maybe minus 18 or something. We can see it's only minus three because it just gives us the inverse of whatever we've set here. So with that in mind, we have to make sure we set this to the maximum range that we want. So if we wanted to go to minus 18, we have to set this to plus 18. Okay, so now this is minus 18. We can see that in the little tooltip. But up here, we've got plus 18. So what we have to do is bring this down to where we want it to be for the maximum. So plus three. So now if the user plays softly, it's uh, coming down to minus 18. Don't worry about this graphic, by the way. There is a bug with uh, the filter not showing the correct uh, not having the correct appearance for the values of the settings. So don't worry if it looks a bit weird. Just focus on this table down here because this is giving us the true value. And then if I play at a louder velocity, we're going to get um, a higher gain. So that's it really. A uh, simple video, but just showing you how you can use this table to actually get the range you want with the uh, gain parameter of a filter being controlled by velocity. And this applies to other modulators as well. And you can do the same thing with the frequency and the uh, other parameters. All right, hope this was helpful. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.